Ceramic Room Art, Color and Form in Pre-Hispanic Peru This room is divided based on two themes. The first shows the timeline of pre-Hispanic cultures chronologically and geographically. The timeline tour goes from the Chavan culture to the Inca culture which developed in the north, center and south of Peru from the years 1200 BC until 1533 AD. Approximately the most important being the Inca culture which developed an empire that encompassed the current countries of Peru, Bolivia, much of Ecuador, northwest Argentina and northern Chile. This timeline unfolds based on the most representative ceramics of pre-Hispanic cultures. These cultures were studied and investigated at the beginning of the 20th century, where the work of archaeologists Max Uhle, Julio Cesar Tello, Rafael Larco Hoyle, among others of equal importance, stands out. Today we know part of our pre-Hispanic history through archaeological finds, which allowed us to establish chronological schemes to temporarily locate pre-Hispanic cultures. It is important to highlight the research work carried out by Luis Eduardo Belcartel and Luis Guillermo Lumbreras. One of the most conventionally used schemes is that established by John Rowe, American archaeologist and anthropologist, who proposed pre-Hispanic cultural periodization, which divides Peruvian cultures under the concepts of the horizons and the intermediates. The horizons are characterized by manifesting similar cultural expressions in different places due to a predominant culture, whereas in the intermediates, each region manifests its own local cultural expression. In the second theme, we present ceramics representative of different cultures, such as Chavin, Kupisnike, Vicus, Nazca, Mochica, Huari, Lambayeque, Chimichancay, and Inca, classified into eight topics. Birds. Our marine and terrestrial wealth, plus the variety of climates and habitats, allowed us to host a diversity of seabirds, falcons, exotic and domestic, such as the penguin, pelican, eagle, parrot and barn owl, fish, reptiles and amphibians. The sea, rivers and valleys were and are a great source of food. Proof of this is the representation of various fish, amphibians and reptiles in ceramics and textiles. Mammals These animals were domesticated in the pre-ceramic period where agriculture and gathering were complemented by fishing and hunting of land and marine animals. Later, during the early intermediate, the domestication of all species was concluded. Among the animals represented stand out, monkeys, dogs, felines, South American camelids, deer, among others. Nazca iconography. Nazca ceramics stand out for the chromaticism and polished surface of their pieces, on which fruits are represented, plants, birds, reptiles, marine animals, among others. Abstract representations and on eric and mythical characters also stand out. Typology. The bottle is a shape that repeats in every culture, but we can observe that it changes by adopting various styles. Generally, they are characterized by presenting a geometrically shaped body, neck and handle, although in many cases it can do without the latter. As for the decoration, it can be pictorial, sculptural, in relief, or based on textures, architecture. The first homes were concentrated in villages and were located near the places of cultivation. Later, each society established itself within an urban center with its respective public, religious, administrative and domestic architecture. 
architecture in ceramics is represented by houses of different styles such as houses with gabled roofs, others with a single wall with the roof supported on two front posts, and others with step designs that resemble mochi temples. Fruits The ancient Peruvians developed great technical knowledge about crops and irrigation methods both on the coast and in the highlands, which allowed them to start village agriculture, promoting the cultivation of tubers such as yucca, cucurbits such as pumpkins and squashes, fruits such as sorso, among others. Human representations the representation of characters in different situations and activities allow us to have a reference of the way of dressing in each society. In the same way, we can understand the taste of the era through the use of body ornaments and facial and body decoration that imitate the decoration of the skin. As we have seen, pre-Hispanic ceramics are very important pieces as they are historical and artistic documents that allow us to learn more about the history of the ancient Peruvians